The National Football League draft is over, and the pundits can begin justifying their media jobs by screaming about the best college players available in the 2017 draft and critique the 2016 draft team by team, like the pundits' words mean anything. The Miami Dolphins' choice of a University of Mississippi player named Laramie Tunsil had the pundits up in arms. Tunsil's draft stock fell, whatever that means, and the Miami Dolphins took him as a 13th player pick. Tunsil had so-called red flags written all over him. There was a picture of him that emerged prior to the draft wearing a gas mask and smoking a bong, which means he might be a real risk in a gladiator sport where physicality and beating your opponent down is the object of the game. There's also the matter of Tunsil claiming he got money from a University of Mississippi coach. The University of Mississippi plans to look into it. Ole Miss wants to make sure the program complies with National Collegiate Athletic Association rules, which give players an annual scholarship in exchange for playing a sport and limits an athlete, whether he's a football player or she's a soccer player, to make $2,000 annually. At one school, a soccer coach told her players go find babysitting jobs and never report it to the athletic department. There are those who think the NFL should punish Tunsil if he took money, ruining the integrity of college football and college sports. Tunsil will be paid for controlled violence as a pro. Football's a nasty game. Players kid that the initials NFL stand for not for long. Players are slabs of meat and can be fired on the spot and may get long-term injuries from playing football. The NFL, through its media partners, try to sell the game as wholesome entertainment fit for all, a reality show. It's just entertainment. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.